And frankly, there was commentary earlier where it's been 21 years since the fee was first established and it hasn't come back to that. It was reduced in half in 1996. It was reduced in half in 1996 in an effort to stimulate construction and create jobs as the city struggled with a 5.8% unemployment rate. We're double that now. This is not the time to move forward with a fee increase. Councilman Gloria, I know you want to take bold steps in the, in the housing issue, but raising fees on a depressed industry is not a bold step. Frankly, it's an easy way out. This is not the way to move forward on this. We've had 21 years where, yes, we talked about that fee, but we've also talked about getting things done, regulatory reforms, incentives to produce affordable housing. There's been no less than five task force that have been created to develop a roadmap to try to get more housing created. Yet little has been done in those 21 years. What has been done in 21 years is that fees have gone up. What has been done is that inclusionary zoning has been established. What has been done is that fees are the only real thing that seems to be done in the city of San Diego. If you want to be bold, if you want to take dramatic steps, Let's do something about it. Let's focus on regulatory reforms. Let's focus on incentives that will actually create it. You've heard from the affordable housing advocates. You know how difficult this challenge is. Heck, they can't even build this stuff without some sort of federal uh, subsidy. So to impose these fees on an industry that is struggling just to find its footing is disingenuous at best. We can't continue to do this. I had a conversation with the mayor of Escondido last week. I told him about what was being discussed here. And he said, wow, I hope they do it because I want your business in my city. It'll make me more economically competitive. So that's what you're hearing from, uh, from uh, elected officials out there. They want to they attract new business. They want to get people back to work. Moving forward with a fee increase, regardless whether it's stepped out two years, five years, ten years, two things will happen. It will send the wrong message that you're not serious about attracting business, and to double it, triple it, quadruple it. You'll never generate enough money to meet the need. You need a sustainable, reliable, broad-based funding source, one that it continues to elude the city council, only because both staff and previous councils have said, it's too hard. I may have to go to the voters. It may not pass. So I'll just take the easy way out and I'll raise your fees. Because I know that won't bother my constituents. But if I ask them to participate, that may bother my constituents. I think we're way beyond that. We can't afford this fee and you can't afford to take the easy way out. I urge you to vote no on this and move forward on something that will actually do something.